All right, don't worry. We're here. We're back. Episode 67. Gino Bisconti. Look, I, we we know what happens out there. We're late sometimes, all right? Just calm the fuck down. We tweeted it at 7. We did. We just had fun bullshitting for an hour. We're not really late. We've just been chatting it up, holding out. Yeah, and, uh, fuck you. Fuck no, that. We were trying to find our headband. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We all went with the A&M. I like Mead it. Looks I like, like it. he has cancer, though. I'm a, little cons- I'm a little concerned for Mead's headband. It looks like he should be at Ward. He you just can't see his hair. Mask before the show, he when he tried the tube sock, he looked like Gypsy Rose. Yeah, I, I put I tied a tube <laughs> sock around my head to th- think it would do justice, but uh, I don't have any hair to keep it back. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he's much as in the, proxy. <laughs> in keeping with the in hot water theme, uh, as I'm always the last to get it, I just realized you were all wearing headbands, including just now. We've been chatting. Are you shitting me? So <laughs> And, and I get the abacus now. I get it all. I get it all. Hey, there it is. Fire. That is my career. We really yeah. pander on this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's our fuckers. Guys. We don't deny it. It's all right. You were in a hurry. Where were you at? You know, you, were you at the city? Yeah, I was just get, I just took my time getting back from work and I stopped and I, I I went to the gym a little bit. And then I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got Then Thank God you texted me. And when I saw it, I'm like, oh, yeah, let me see if I can get home. And then you're like, oh, we'll do it at 745. I'm like. I felt like you pushed it back for me. I'm like, I'm going to be even later, but it worked. We're out always great. late. There, we're always late, no matter yeah. what. We'll say 7:30. That means 7:50. We're starting. Uh, yeah, anyway. Look, there, there's there's four dudes that we uh, have to try to all get together, and we can never all get together at the same time. So yeah. when it happens, it happens. What are you going to do? I was in the gym. Moving you know? parts. I feel you, dog. Jim, you Gino, you wear a mask at the gym? Uh, there was. I was wearing the blue mask under my fucking with my nose above it and over my mouth. Right. And then, I, but I didn't do any cardio because it's like, fuck it, I'll just walk home because I'm not sitting there on a fucking elliptical or anything with a fucking mask on. That's fucking gay. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to suck breathe. A dick, dude. I can't breathe when I'm standing with a mask on. Like, the thing is, it's <laughs> retarded. If there's anything that has to do with like suppressing people and keeping them fucking uncomfortable, it's that shit. Yeah. And you know me, I don't wear them on the subway. I've had it. It's, it's bullshit. It's all fucking bullshit. It's, that Barrington Declaration says it perfectly. It's fake. It, I don't care if it's fake, because what it says is let the young people go outside and let the old. Be- is that the one because it had all the fake signatures on it? Uh, uh, psh, probably. What better to combat a fake pandemic than a fake declaration? So actually, it works out perfect. <laughs> OK, yeah, I had to scream at my mother uh, this afternoon. I, I had to had scream at your mother this morning. Get the fuck out. I'm late. Leave. Let me explain the joke. She's a whore. What did you do, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? I went to work and screened at my mother before I left because she's <laughs> just an, she's just buying into all the bullshit. And I don't I'm I, like you. I'm just tired of biting my tongue anymore with everybody. Like, yeah, it's a fucking joke. It's all like like what well, you're, you're buying into this. Like, it's you're, so you're buying into this. It's all bullshit, man. I've been I'm wearing the same political. mask for a month and a half. Live and let live. If you don't want to go fuck out, them. stay the fuck home. And if not, go the fuck Nobody's out. Make, well, here's the thing. Nobody's making people go out. Like, this is yeah. not a mandate to go out. It, it's a mandate to fucking wear a mask. You're, you're taking your life in your hands, leaving the house. So don't yeah. fucking put it on somebody else to try to protect. Dude, I, 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 was at a, I was at a convenience store buying some shit. I didn't have a mask on. And I turned around. There was this older lady. And she looked right at me. She goes, mask, mask. And just like pointed at me and made the whole scene. I'm like, you would have thought this bitch thought I was wearing a ski mask in there, but it was because yeah. I didn't have a breathing mask. I'm like, what the fuck? Relax. You like, guys got it brutal down like, there. The fuck out of here. You in know? the tri state area. I haven't even got, I gotten dirty looks and that's it. And I've won one three times to take my kid to his pediatrician appointments in the last six months. <laughs> that's it because they won't let me in. Like, yeah. fuck it. I'll play your game and I'll wear it like a chin strap when yeah. I go in. But I, I don't wear them anywhere. The, the fucking liquor store, the pharmacy, the fuck Walmart, home, wherever, dude. I don't wear them. No one says shit up here. I don't know. They made uh, at the they, point. I'll purposely go to places that don't make you wear them just to give them business instead of like <laughs> fucking CVS right. or some shit. I do that Every too. place has a sign. I just don't wear them, and no one says shit. But they have to put the sign there. I think uh, oh, it's yes, mandated yes. in order to stay open for business. But a mandate we were, isn't a law, dude. It's not a law. Like, yeah, but in order to, to stay open, like they could, they could receive a lot of fucking hate from these people out there. They're like, it's real. People are dying. People are dying. Look, no one's dying. People are dying when they're hitting a pole because they're wearing a mask while they're driving, and it goes up oh and covers God. their eyes a little bit. No, that that's because they're Asian mostly. Hey, yeah. They're, speaking of Asians, I was at Mohegan's, uh, and and they made oh, us uh, they made us wear the mask in between sips. Of oh, our they did not make you in, do but I swear to God, in between sips. Swear. I mean, I was talking about it on the show today. Like, I 
love getting dirty looks on the subway now. I love it. It's like, it's like, what? What? It, it, it's just insane how it really gets to just, and I've said this before, it just gets to common sense. I'm not, I don't need numbers. I just need to, to, to say, look, if I am 51 and haven't gotten it and been living outside and taking the subway, it's almost like if you're just healthy, you're going to be fine. And, and the fact that no, I said this and you watch the show, I said this months ago, since no one's dying, they're going to use new words, spike and yeah. surge. Because you did scary fucking right. words. Yeah. Ooh, they, that's all they do right. is try to scare people. When did, it become, when did it become like we're, we're just normal people not wearing masks? Since when do, now we're the bad guy? I love when the it. Fuck dude. did that happen? Fuck him. Just Gino's living. Point where he says common sense. Fuck the statistics. Fuck every anecdote you've heard. Just think about this. When in human history has the powers that be ever cared about the sick and the old? Never. Okay. Name one time. Why do you think they still sell cigarettes? Speaking of which, I'm going to smoke one. Seriously. Uh, but yeah. Put it to you another way, Paul. You know, people are always saying like, oh, if I said this on the show today. If someone wins, if someone wins this election, I'm leaving the country. Why isn't there a country people are going to to escape COVID? Because there's no escaping. There's Please. no, excuse me, uh, Jim Stansel, escaping. There's no escaping <laughs> COVID Thank you. because it's just a fucking flu that everyone's, that you're more likely to get and less likely to die from. And yeah. yet... They want to, uh, what is it? It's day 261 of a 14 day shutdown. And people, how, how can you be so obtuse? And they let it fucking go on. And then they give me a dirty look when I'm on someone. I'm like, what, what? Stay the fuck home. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that be afraid that is, of germs. Stay home, faggot. Like, what are you that's doing? That's exactly it. Faggot, Seriously. Paul, I've said this before. I'll say it again. If you're, I don't care if you're gay, but if you think 100% of society should stay in the same 0.004%, you were born wrong, and that's what the Catholic Church calls a faggot. Yeah, so absolutely. you are, okay? Absolutely. And I'm a Catholic. I wish that's these people... But nobody's staying home. Matter of fact, people are out more looking for shit to do because places are still closed. It's fucking ridiculous. But yet I'm the asshole because I don't have to wear the mask. What are you drinking, Matt? Oh, shout out to uh, whoever it was who brought this to my... Can't, can't see it. it. Bankers? Who brought this to the, uh, the secret show. Oh. oh, yeah. Larry announced that. I forget the one guy's the name. Great, uh, one of the great fans of uh, not our show. Um, Was it the guy Levy clocked <laughs> in the fucking face? <laughs> oh, the guy who got he, his skull bashed in? Fucking yeah. He drank yeah. all his whiskey before he came. But yeah, this, last, this lasted me a whole week. So Nice. Jim Stansel still drinking Trulies. Uh, have you... bottle of... Oh, I almost dropped the whole thing. Woo, that would have been fucking good. here. Don't worry. What do you uh you buy a bottle of that a day, Jim, or, or before every show? The first one lasted us uh two episodes. Good, fifteen episodes. Oh my god. Gene, are you done drinking now? Is it, have you started the break? Uh I am I am done drinking like I used to, but now I, I have specified dates when I'm drinking. I'm drinking this this Saturday. I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked because uh, I'm going to the bar I always talk about on the show, Angry Waves. Yeah, which is in Brooklyn, which is where I used to live. And I used to even bartend there. And they're shutting down. They've been oh, open no. 15 years or 16. No, they've been open, Jesus Christ, 19 years. And they're shutting down. Jesus. And everyone there, I didn't realize. But, you know, I still talk to them on social media and stuff. I think they they the they think it's Trump's fault that they're shutting down. Yeah, right. They think, you know, they're the ones that are like, yeah, he, he did. He handled COVID wrong. He could go to uh, nowhere. There's no other country to go to because it's all the same. <laughs> masks, Brooklyn. no masks. People, Africa, it doesn't matter. It's all the same. Yep. But they're yeah, in New like, York, though, with their writing tickets and shit for people leaving their door open uh, to their business. Yeah, that was they're in, cracking uh, down there. Yeah, they're giving out fucking tickets for people not wearing masks. Like, at least up here, they're like, uh, you know, you're going to get a fine, but nobody's getting fucking fines down there. You're getting fined. Did you see them break into like some Hasidic? home because they had more than 10 people in there once. i was just gonna say I, that i'm like that is, that fucking enraged me when they're taking out the jews you know it's fucked dude yeah, yeah dude. they're usually untouchable i half didn't mind it there were 15 <laughs> there were 15 people in there they pulled out six so they jewed them down to nine it was really good <laughs> it's a math there it is. rack them there you go oh fuck Oof. they're saying six people for thanksgiving too huh yeah, that's fucking. Who insane. said that? I don't know. I just saw something do, like that. I'm like, suck what are you my gonna, dick. What the who fuck are you, you gonna have? Half a bird? You, yeah, who do you think said that? Fucking uh, Fauci said it, right? He's like, oh, we'd like you to 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 cancel. That's if you don't see that's what's going on. They're eliminating you in contact. And I've said this before. If, I want someone to say to me, I wasn't there when my grandfather died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. good. I'd like to see if that fucking. Are, 
I'd what like to see that. I'd like to see that Dr. Fauci fry a frozen bird. That fucking right goblin. The kitchen, catch I can't believe he's fire. Italian too. That fucking cunt. Oof. Piece That's the guy whose kids yeah. don't talk to him anymore. That's yeah. What happened to the goggles? Kids Remember, kids he was gonna kids. he was gonna make people wear goggles. What happened with that? I didn't even know that. I yeah, he told he either. told people that uh, we should start wearing goggles too. <laughs> it's just it's, it's just a fuck with I us swear at to that God. point. It's just a fuck I with swear the swear That was before that was before I moved here. So that was a I'm like a month and a half ago. I remember hearing that and I was like, Are you kidding me? Goggles? No, you know what it what it is? I think you said this, Gino. Maybe, maybe uh, not. I don't know. Me. But at this point, I'm just I, I care to a point, but I'm also just self sovereign. Like I'm gonna do what I want. I don't give a shit what they say. In the end, mandate, no mandate. I only got so many days on the earth. If I don't want to wear a mask, I'm not going to wear it. If I'm going to mandate, somewhere. I'll hook you up. I'm gonna go somebody somewhere. just sent out this new link. It's some guy <laughs> at, a, at a speech in Georgia. It's 40 minutes, but he said it like it was another great point. And the reason I loved it, and I retweeted it today with the hashtag common sense ain't common, because at first I'm watching, like, you know, you ever watch these videos and you're watching 10 minutes to see graphs and stuff? No graphs, just him saying stuff. And one of the things he said that was great is like, this is fucking old people that live their lives. And it's not like the old people that are dying because they don't give a fuck. They don't. They'd be like, yeah. they stay inside. They're like, go live your life. But this is people like, you know, the age like Fauci and Pelosi and all these fucking faggots that are like, they live their lives. And now they're fucking asking young people not to live theirs when they're fine. Yep. It's fine. Golly. It, it, it should be enough to make people up and revolt. And I don't mean shoot a guy in Philly 10 times because he's black with a knife. That's just a hobby <laughs> for them. But I yeah. mean, really really fucking revolt selfish it's very selfish it's long, how long have, what it is how long have young people been revolting since 2014 like it's like it's past the point where it's enough already like stop fucking with everyone but like, wouldn't you argue they've made it easier like the kids today don't they almost don't know any better you know you're younger than me but you're still on that today don't know shit well you know it's the culmination of the everybody gets a trophy culture all the yes, kids true. Everybody, yeah, the pussification of america is coming to fruition i've been saying it forever and now the kids are adults and you're seeing it everybody's right everybody's special everybody gets a, it's everybody gets a trophy but now they're adults and look at it yeah. And on top of that, that we're Rack they're me. so wired to their cell phone. Oof. So when so they people that and I'm real people that think people that think social media is real life. People that are absolute fucking soulless Literal. cunts like Kate Willett that say things for fucking likes on Twitter and have no fucking material have uh -huh. never wanted to make someone laugh in their life other than the times they say I'm great. Now we'll never get her on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it, they're so much easier to win over because when you tell them what well, you can drink in a Zoom meeting, they think that's drinking. That's not drinking. Drinking no, is no. fucking what we fucking do. Losing an entire day in a bar. Fucking yeah. Shit. By the way, did Shitting you guys your see pants the episode? Sullivan. Did you guys see the episode where we went back and I made them watch the footage of the Kevin Brennan fucking incident? Yes. And fucking yeah, even was... Garrett's like, well, how long is this going to be? Until I yell, you dumb fuck. Stop <laughs> pushing the fucking yes, narrative, dude. fucking Fauci. Yeah. That, that was oh, a good it's good to see Brian's doing well. <laughs> oh, God. He's losing his fucking mind. Drunk psycho loser. Kevin's he's, killed him. He's, he's yeah, literally yeah, yeah. You, guys, you guys seen him on the wet spot? You saw oh, wait, not, oh, God forgive me. I don't mean Kevin. I'm doing his show this week. I meant fucking uh, Brian McCarthy. I love fucking Kevin. No, you, said, wow. you said Brian McCarthy. I'm saying oh, Kevin. Yeah. I thought I said Kevin. I love Kevin. No, Kevin I'm, I'm doing his, his show life. this week. You're doing Kevin's show this week? I'm doing, I think I'm doing the football show the with football. him. And, uh, oh, they're they're nice, finally going to yeah. hook it up to where you can hear them and they can hear you. I don't know. I haven't listened to any of them because I'm not. I, I I'm I'm on Kevin. I'll take it a step further. How much I love Kevin. I'm on his Patreon, but I'm not paying for the football show. Well, yeah, I'm yeah, but the, the money, way, the money dude, goes yeah. to Chad's pocket anyway. Chad's the one who runs that show. He's the yeah, host. I, Kevin's the I, I heard. I heard on the last one. I haven't listened to really any of them. I heard real quick on the last one. <laughs> I'm your host, Chad Zumach. Yeah, like, well, that's the way it was because when they first started it, uh, like Chad was introducing Kevin as the host, but it's Chad's running the show and running it from Chad's Patreon. So Kevin was like, I don't, I don't want to be called the host of this nice cabana king 69 joins the program he's putting down uh what was that a shot of you just drank some whiskey is that captain morgan sailor jerry's sailor jerry's there you go kid oh is that yeah. rum yeah that's captain morgan's welfare brother uh, it looks know. like it's in a fucking listerine bottle yeah is that are you 11 you're drinking yeah. rum and chasing it with dr pepper hey, Not exactly stuff. it's 92 proof that's all i need is that yeah. plastic? That's a plastic bottle, right? That's, That's a plastic bottle of Listerine. You guys yeah, are yeah, I mean, bucks. They're the same price, but when you get drunk and you drop the bottle, you don't have to worry about breaking it. Yeah, so speaking of which, Stancil almost dropped oh. his new bottle a second ago. So yeah, I did, you, but it's glass because I'm an adult.
No, you had a class in your cup. Uh, and when it's I was also a, a handle, not a fucking fifth, you faggot. When I was in my final drinking days, I drank uh, plastic bottles, uh, Platinum 7X vodka. Now, and, why, I, why don't you drink anymore? How bad did that get? It got pretty bad. I, I got a DWI. I was a point. Three, I was a point three. I was a point three nine BAC, and I was talking to the officer just fine. Point uh, three nine. Did you hear that, Gino? Yeah. Is that so, really the number? Your blood I, I, is almost half alcohol. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show. I, I got the court documents that prove it. So now I, I got a bunch of trouble for that. That's not why I quit, though. I like I, I continued on a six month binge. And then uh, it was just too much, man. Like it like I, I was tired of waking up, not being who I wanted to be, you know, so I just quit overnight. I hanging just, out with us. Good man. Now I hang out yeah. with these guys and they all you do. You made drink. it, Ski. You hang out with us on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you, we were, what started this. I'm drinking uh, this Saturday uh, and the next time I'm drinking. I like how he plans his drinking. Thanksgiving. And then on December 4th and 5th, I announced it on the show today. I'm returning to another old home, Wilmington, Delaware. I'm doing four shows there. And I'm just getting obliterated that weekend. Need an Fuck opener? Yeah. <laughs> Gino, have you have you ever gotten a Dewey? Because all three of my co-hosts have. Never have. I, well, knew, I, I thought you hadn't. At least no, a professional. A child, but he doesn't drive. He just sleeps in a car, right? But when it, thank you very much. That's great. He when I was younger, have his I car got anymore. lucky and I never got one. But once I got to New York and I, you know, I know I knew I needed my car to fucking drive to gigs and fucking sleep. Once I knew that, I'm like, I'm not getting a DUI. So it would so I go out drinking. This is another reason I know I'm not. Fucking alcoholic. I'll get obliterated, but if I have my car, it's like having the kid. I'm like, I can't drink tonight. Yeah. You know, because I wouldn't be able to enjoy it. Like I really like drinking. I uh, we really know, yeah, do. but it, I I do appreciate that you that you don't consider yourself an alcoholic because I say the same thing about myself. I'm able to just cut it off, like you are. Like you you can cut it off for months at a time. I've seen you do it, right. and I was always able to do. Like I cut it off. Uh, what I'm at a year and a half now, the longest I've gone since I was 15. And so it's like it's like either you want it or you don't. It's not like you wake up and you have to have a drink. But people are like, oh, you're an alcoholic. You're an alcoholic. No, like you're not itching for a drink. Right. When you're not drinking. I mean, you'd like no. to because you love it. But, it, you know, when you got business to attend to, you got business. Well, another thing I realized right. that made it easier is for the four months I wasn't drinking. I said we couldn't drink at the studio. No one was showing up with booze. They couldn't drink across the street. They shut down the bar. And I wasn't doing stand up back then. And when I'm hanging out at the shows, you know, I'm always having a beer or a shot. Like, I love taking Yeah, you're throwing the, the shot shows. glass, everything. Yeah. So it's like they took away, and that furthered the argument in my brain, not like a real argument, but it's like I'm not an alcoholic because I don't want to drink right now. Yeah. I, like I, I have a fucking cabinet full of wine and whiskey. I'm like, I don't want it. I want to fucking yeah. get hammered with people, you know, but I don't want to fucking just drink. Oh, drink in a Zoom meeting. So I'm drinking no, alone. No, no, because then you, but then when you hang up, you're drunk alone. It sucks. <laughs> yes. that, that's that, that's, when, it when, a, that's when it becomes that's when it becomes a problem. It's definitely not that's fun. When this job. ends, it's very sad. It's just yeah. quiet and I'm drunk. It's very it's quiet. Uh, but that's when it becomes a problem. Like I started drinking alone so much that I didn't even enjoy drinking with other people. Yeah, you know, I just like getting drunk by myself. And I was like, that's oh, a shame. No. I'm sorry. I love drinking yeah. with you. Yeah, well, uh, maybe one day, Gino, one day when uh, you retire. We never drank? Did we drink in uh, what you No, I was, I was already Texas? sober. I was already sober. Yeah. Gay. Yeah, First gay. acceptance. <laughs> Getting off of a Zoom meeting like drunk is basically like finishing masturbating. It's, it's just like a sad. <laughs> yeah, what have I It's like jerking off. To <laughs> what did I just born. do to myself? Yeah, it's like when you finally blow your load, load after jacking off. Come on my face. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, because they've been there. like, oh, fuck, I got to clean it up now. Like you're rolling up mic cords. <laughs> yeah, I'm picking up Trulies. <laughs> I made a hole in my wall with. <laughs> oh, good night. Um, Cabana King was Gino. What do you think? Oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I know. Uh, what started uh, the Ski Mask Collective show is uh, you, you said that Gino was funnier than Kevin Brennan, and Kevin Brennan got attention. So uh, that's we, right. I, I figured I would have you oh, on shit. here to say what's up to Gino because you've always been uh, Team Gino over anyone else. Uh, that's that absolutely true. I mean, Daddy's oh, very yeah. good at what he does. I don't. Yeah, but Kevin says that all the time. I don't argue with Kevin. It's like, all right, Kevin, you're funnier. I don't. It's safe. Uh, you get that all the time. Look, when you're the alpha dog, you don't have to tell people uh, you're the alpha dog. Yeah. I say I was the alpha dog. You don't yes, have to. I cringe but every time. I'll t let me tell you. Let me tell you. And we can watch the fucking tape again. Alpha dog can tell you all about it. But we can watch it again. Uh, please, uh, can and you, you stop realize that? when I walk. Cut it off. Hold on, Gino. Can you not say alpha? Can you at least on this show? Can you just say daddy at least? At least cut it off at daddy. I don't know if I can even say daddy. alpha dog. Well, here's the thing. I say daddy because it annoys people. And now I know alpha dog annoys you. So when alpha you dog walked into that studio, <laughs> right, let, let me ahead. point something out to you, Stan Salicious. When I walked in, <laughs> I didn't say anything. 
But when the alpha walks in, what, this is where it all started. That's when it's that's when so Brennan wanted me out. It's almost like he didn't want the real alpha in the studio. I'm just saying. Oh, wow. And it's like, Ooh. you, you know, ever notice how I don't go on a podcast and scream, Kevin, Kevin Brennan's not funny. I don't have to say that, do I? Yeah, I don't yeah, have to yeah. Say but Kevin you know, that's funny. Even the joke point. in the Kevin point, Brennan Gene. is fucking hysterical. But yeah. I don't have yells. All he does is yell. All he does is yell. Auschwitz, Auschwitz. All the both of you do is yell. You're That's both true. fucking hilarious. Yeah, I agree both. with that statement completely. Yeah. yeah. But like I you will said, say, you don't I, have to say it, but go ahead, uh, Jimmy. What are you saying? No, I didn't have much. It was had to be that year this time. Still one of my favorite MLCs. I think you guys went like two and a half hours when you oh. kept asking him what he does in the morning. How does he start dude. his day? <laughs> and he it, dude, it's such a good question. Like, if you think about, like, like, like yeah. what is Kevin what, what doing? What are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean Kevin, Kevin, rolling out of bed. Leaking out information. Yeah, I have cereal. I go and read the paper. Really? Do you walk out in slippers in a room? <laughs> pick up the newspaper? Like Tony Soprano. What do you mean? I'm like soprano. What? Listen, whenever, you're an idiot. You're an and idiot. whenever he was about to end, I would just say something that set him off and he would go yeah. another half hour. I'm like, I love it. He's like, all right, well, let's wrap it. I'm like, oh, I just want to tell you, I love this show. I listen to the old ones. I'm starting to think you don't like Lanny Marcus. I, hate him. <laughs> I knew exactly what you were doing. Oh, genius. Yeah, that was great. Cool. I do remember that. Was that when he was still doing it in like that little tiny cramp studio? Yeah. At, whatever. The strip. Strip. Yeah. Yeah. at the strip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember. That was hilarious. I don't even know what's going on with the strip. Like, you know, like a lot of the other clubs, you know, I, I, I know what's going on. You know, the stand does the secret shows and we do the stuff in the park and stand up New York and New York comedy clubs doing the like the rooftop shit. I, I haven't heard anything from the so strip. What's the deal with Dangerfields? <laughs> We're not buying that shithole. <laughs> I think they're gonna put Shario, the old uh, uh, bar, uh, service uh, server, there, and just burn the place down like a bike. <laughs> like what happened? Like what's eating Gilbert Grape? You just burn <laughs> on the back yeah. of the house? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. You just what burn down to- Amy Schooner in a house? What happened at Legion of Skanks last <laughs> night? Does anybody know what happened with I that? Know, I saw a bunch of bullshit on Twitter. Like dog, somebody like, gets oh, shot. It was a work. Oh. It was a work. It was a work. Okay. Okay. It was a what? What? A work. Like a, a work. Like a, a work. A, you know, like a work of art. What are you talking about? You I saw it, right? You know, you saw the clip. What clip? Yeah. There's, okay, know. there's a clip where there's some booms going off in the background. It sounds like gunshots, but uh what well, uh Louis J. Gomez does not know how to act. You could tell that he was in on it because he like look at all of it. He's like huh? Huh? and then he hits the ground and everybody else is just chilling because they know it's not near loud enough to be a real gunshot. And then the uh, the the stream just ends. I think is in that oh, how it went down. Like a soprano thing. Yeah, oh, like, they did this some big <laughs> thing. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't watch it. I just saw the clip. But it seems clearly a word. I know. I I did the wet spot last night, and I know Chrissy had to do it early so she could go. She went. Oh. So I could watch my money go fucking bye bye on the Bears, but so she could go dress <laughs> up like Carol Baskin or something. <laughs> I'm sitting in the, Rams in the background wearing something. She I don't was know. In there. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of on? podcast, Gino. What uh, this podcast? Which one do you th- do you like? Do you think is better, this podcast or uh, the G Hole podcast with Ray Devito and Bob? Great Bates? question. I listened to you on it the other day. I'll say. Did you my did, did you hear how just? <laughs> it's garbage. It's garbage. <laughs> garbage. I listen. I know exactly. I'm a good guy. I'm a good I guy. Knew... Like, I mean, it was great when. Why is it so bad? What's that? Why is it so bad? Because zero, I would say zero talent's a big part of it. I would say that. I would say <laughs> not wanting to do anything other than hear yourself talk, and all oh. you do is hear yourself talk. So you're talking over your 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 co. There's fucking five other people in this, and, and we managed to get. I, I fucking did it because he called in, and I'd been making fun of him all week for going long on the second <laughs> secret show, and then we joke around, and I'm like, I'll do your podcast, and I do it, and it's literally him and Bob Bigger Staff. I said Bigger Staff. Fucking talking, like you know how when two of us talk at the same time, someone will say "go ahead" or or they'll listen for the other one. Yeah, they just keep plowing through, and they talk. And if you watch a video, you'll see me going like this several times, just in disbelief. <laughs> I can confirm. I can dis- confirm. And it's like, why did I do this? Why? Why did I do this? I knew exactly what you meant from when I first heard you say that. I listened to their. I listened to them here and there. Um, what, so I knew exactly what, they, what you what meant. What is the podcast about? <laughs> What is G hole? I don't know. I I did it. It's, I did it. Uh, oh, oh, you don't know what G hole is, Gino? It's greatest story, hour, right? greatest hour of listening ever. Is what it's, it's an acronym, Gene. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I'm not it's an kidding. Acronym. Gino. <laughs> Your head and chain. They're 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 a bunch of. It should be called the audio hour of listening ever. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I did that show. And uh, so Ray was trying to tell a story. And the whole time he was trying to tell the story, uh, Bob Biggerstaff was combating him by saying he shouldn't tell the story. So I never really got to understand a fucking story. And that went on what for 20 minutes. Story? I'm like, hi, guys, I'm here, too. Your guest. <laughs> Something yeah. about a baseball being signed, probably. I don't know. Yeah, what it's it's insane. And he's shout out Ray DeVito. He's a good. I guy. love Ray DeVito. He's fucking great. Oh yeah, I love fucking people with fucking you know. <laughs> I love people that are half retarded. They're like, I could do comedy. You can't. You can't. <laughs> he's been doing it a long time, hasn't he? Eventually, he'll get it so, right. So is Chad Zumach. He's been doing it a long time, hasn't he? <laughs> oh, now he's Florida's yeah. greatest. I think my that Zumach's another one that just gets so. I mean, he's not even a beta cuck. He's so insecure. He was. Uh, oh, my God. You have no he's idea. He's just bipolar. He's, no, he's very, very insecure. I was listening to the episode with my crazy ex on who's in town next week, and I'm not fucking her. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to bang her? <laughs> Look at him. I think the and, laughing. Uh, well, he the eyes out of the he's already banged her. Um, what was I going to say? And. Uh, Oh, and 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 every she called him Chad Zumbach once, and he lost his mind. Oh, oh I know, I remember yes, that, dude. Yeah, it was fucking the best. My name is Zumbach. Chad Zumbach. All right, you know, it's no Chad one. Zumbach. It's like, yeah, you don't like know she me. Knew what she was doing. You don't know yeah. my name. You, you don't, don't know, know me? me. I'm Florida's greatest. I moved to Tampa. I was the first to do it. I've been opening for Tim Dillon for two weeks. I'm the only comic with sold out shows this week. I'm from Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should. You, it should be a drinking game. Listen to uh, listen to the podcast and drink every time. Chad, we said this. We said this about Chad Florida. Just does an insecure plug. Oh, oh okay. this happened to me when I was opening for. All right. Yeah. 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 I, I got sure drunk with gone. Chappelle. I got drunk with Chappelle. Yeah. Y'all know. Sure y'all know I met Jessica Simpson somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if you listened to the MLC from today slash whatever whenever it came out, but yeah, he says he was the only comic to sell out a club last week. Thank you, Terminator. Oh Secondary God. was that he was that Tim Dillon was a headliner. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I heard Wait, it. How did he say it? Uh, he I said, was only coming the 13 sold out shows. 13 sold out. Only one, only one in the country. I swear to God. You'll I'm the only comic you know, in the U.S. Exaggerating. Slash Why? the world. Yeah, because you're opening for Tim Dillon. He's yeah, fucking delusional. Delusional, dude. Paul is, loves him, right, Paul? Yeah, he's my best friend. Why is Kevin... Why does Kevin have him on? The, why is he the new sidekick? Nobody I know. knows. You know, Kevin, Kevin, knows no one knows. fucking answer me. Yeah. Have you read Kevin the knows exactly read, what Do he's you doing. read the Patreon comments? No. Go I read them. the comments sometimes. I never Gina. did either until I never last thought to week. do that. Like that's it's my funny. right as a subscriber. I'll tell it's you. Funny. I mean, it's I, I might say Go shit read about them. I might say shit about Brian McCarthy because he's an absolute nobody, zero failure, living in denial. But I will say this. Let's get that clip, please. What's that? Cut a, cut a clip uh, I will say this. He was, he was the, the best sidekick he had. I liked him better than Thank fucking Thank you, Lenny. Gino. He was the best sidekick he ever had. As Absolutely. I agree. Clown as doubt, right? is. He was, that was the funniest the show was. Burning Bridges, MLC. The funniest it was was with Brian. I third that, I have to say. <laughs> I agree. Chad fucked Dan Hathaway. Easily the worst MLC ever. A lot of Chad hate comments. <laughs> I got to admit, comments. I like hey, uh, Yeah. <laughs> The Go manager ahead. at Target is going to have a gun. Kevin is going to have Kevin working night shift. Yeah, Kevin announced oh, he got Kevin a job at Target. Oh, Kevin said he's getting a job at Target. He said he, he got a job. Not. He, no way. He said, yes, he does. No he said it. He's, way. He said he's he said getting it. On the show it. today. But, he I mean, said he's, he's getting it, and he's doing, like, deliveries and stuff. Can you there's imagine? no fucking chance, <laughs> dude. Yeah. I don't think... Imagine Did if he had to wear a, wear a hat? sailor's hat in this episode. It says Florida's. He wears a sailor's hat every episode. He wears them every episode. Do you know he went on? He went on Robert Kelly and Mike Calter and wore a fucking hat and they clowned the shit out of him for an hour. The it, fucking shtick. We all get it. I can't. I can't. I can't take stance of looking like fucking Brian Bosworth over fuck, there. Fuck <laughs> Chad. Like Terminator. Boss. Holy shit! I was gonna say Randy Macho Man Savage, but Boss is spot that? on. Just swapping him out, baby. Now Jesus you just look Christ. like Chad. Now you just look like Chad. Who did it first, Jim? Was it you or him? The sunglasses on every podcast. Just uh, this started. Stancil Gino, did shout out to Compound Media. This started with, uh, well, we'll just say N word, N word free oh. Mondays at Burning oh, Bridges. Yeah. That's why Kevin and Brian started wearing sunglasses. So when I would right. come to the show, I started wearing because people would just call in and say the N word every show. Yeah, they man. Had to, they had to start. They had to start hashtag <laughs> NFM and uh, please no racism on the bottom of the screen. And yeah, that's where the sunglasses started, and then that, uh, that's when the show jumped the shark when they stopped dropping the n bomb. Right, took the yeah. words out of my mouth, you know, shit. I was literally about to say that. Yep, 
Yeah, good stuff. The f- one of the funniest Kevin lines was cut that N words mic with Jimmy yeah. Martinez at the fucking that riot cast. I, that's how I discovered him was that clip. I was like, I love this guy, dude. Yeah, this guy's amazing. He's he is only bad. happy if he's miserable. Like that's the yep. thing. I I know people like that, and he's great. He's just he can't be happy. He can't. I mean, I love him, but he's just, uh, everything is just a nightmare to the poor fucking dude. It's hilarious. I just Gino, that- do me a favor. When you're on with the football podcast, as we ask him how he starts his NFL Sunday, and just keep asking him no, how he starts. Oh, oh, please, please do that. Yeah, with him so but bad. Did yeah. <laughs> but he did, like, uh, you get excited for the Giants. Ah, do, you, uh, do you check in? Uh, do you watch the Giants game and make sure Lenny's doing the stats right? He's a statistician. Well, no, he, 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 hates, uh, he hates Carson Wentz right now. He, I was he, just going to say, ask yeah. him about how Carson Wentz loves Jesus. Ask him about the Eagles. Ask him about the Dave Lindau's Detroit Lions. Ask him about uh, the Minnesota <laughs> Vikings, and he'll go off on all those. Nick Schwartz, Minnesota Vikings. Ask him about the team. Uh, well, you Nick know Schwartz, what? Nick's Nick's on the Vikings. They Nick stink Schwartz and Kirk Cousins is awful, fun. but I will, I will definitely make a note of all of that. I'll ask him about Carson Wentz. I'll ask him about uh, Dave Lando. I'll ask him about the Lions. Be like, Dave Lando what? loves the Lions. And, what? Uh, what? What's up with Gino with A and M? Don't bring up with the A and M. Dude, he was wearing an Astros uh, Astros get up at the Secret Show. Really? Who was? Okay. Yeah, you. you were. Oh, I had my Astros headband on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, Cabana King just noticed you're wearing an A and M thing because he lives right near A and M. I, I was thing. working at A and M the other day. Man. Oh yeah, you were building a pool there. Yeah. Really? Ooh. I want to go live clients. there. I uh, yeah, a fan <laughs> said. Uh, the only headbands I've bought are the Phillies one and the Tennessee one. The fans sent the rest of these, which I love. Oh, wow. okay. nice. Yeah, it's very you got fans nice. cool. in College Station. Wow, yeah, man. and A and M I think have, has covered the, the the three weeks that I've been that I've had this. I haven't bet them yet. I, that's why I know they covered because Mo's like, oh, I should have bet A and M. Oh yeah. Uh, Did not have the, overall record the for the year, here. Gino. Uh, I was fucking. 16. Don't preface it. Don't preface it. And I was not sixteen and two preface. after last Sunday, and now I've lost my last seven picks. Wait, wait. You were sixteen and two? Did you say You're sixteen and, and twelve? Nine, thank man. you, thank you. Sixteen and twelve. If I was sixteen and two, I wouldn't be talking to you guys. I'd be in. Vegas yeah, I was gonna local. say, holy shit. Yeah, I was sixteen and twelve. Sorry about that. All right, and that's then still I lost. Pretty good. I literally it was, but now I saw I'm under five hundred. I I picked both games wrong Monday. And then I went 0-5 this weekend. That happens about once a year I do an 0-5. But again, this is what I would say about the people. Like, you don't know what you're doing. I'm like, no, you're stupid. I've been doing these videos for 14 years. They're hilarious. And the whole point is fucking the joke is what makes the pick. Whichever team I make fun of, they're like, well, I did. I don't care what you did. I could do what you did. No, you can't. You're not funny. And you think you're a good gambler because you lie about what you gambled on over the weekend on Tuesday morning. (laughs) And no one's fucking you for it, dipshit. (laughs) Yeah, that's what it never seems to be like. Like you and 05, I did, but it was fucking hilarious. I did a joke last week that was brilliant about Nick Foles filling in for fucking uh, Mitch Trubisky. And I said, Mitch Trubisky has the arm of a toddler. I said, Nick Foles is hung like, you know, he's hung like a horse. They know that. I said, so who's ever understood yeah, he's, Chicago, a big, he's big playing with a baby piece. arm? And that's fucking brilliant. That's hey, a Gino. Brilliant brilliant joke. Joke. Gino, you know the boys here started their own sports show. You ought to, you ought to go on as a guest, man, and, uh, and check it out. Is it called the Sports Mass Collective? Not the wow. Sports Mass Collective. Yes, sir. Yeah. Not wow. to be confused with Misery Loves Football. Where do they come up with these wacky spells? Right, right. Not to be confused at hey, all. Hey, make sure you check out the new show on Compound Media called In Hot Football. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's there funny. it is. That's uh, funny. That'd be a oh, great fucking show. Me- Mead really liked that one. I really, really tickled Mead with that yeah, one. Yeah, that was <laughs> good. <laughs> Make no mistake. Our show, our show has our show has is is ten percent sports and then ninety percent of places we shit watching sports. <laughs> Once, hey, hold on a second, yeah. Mike. We'll get you on, Gina. Don't Soaky, worry. We'll, we'll Mike Soki, so. Mike Soki, fan of the show. What the fuck? The last three episodes, you're in the chat room saying I'm toasted. Who? So he's keep saying this. What does he want? God we were he keeps saying that I'm drunk. I uh, last episode he was saying I looked fucking high off my ass. Give him the number. What do you do? I'm calling. Who gives a fuck? He said you look toasted, Pinky. Let's settle this. Yeah, he said ski mask here. looks toasted. Hashtag my n word. Whatever that is. I think it's yeah. the lighting. My nigga. I think he's what he meant. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it, where it was an A? I, I fuck you. I'm more hood than all the. I'm, hey. I'm more hood than all you motherfuckers. Oh, he you played basketball. Know. I think I, I think Stancil's the only one to drop an answer. Wait, wait, wait. Stancil, Stancil played basketball? Yeah, that was my main sport. So did I. I was a two-guard for 15 years. Yeah, but Whoa. let's think like about height here, player. Paul. 
Yeah, I'm six foot, cunt. I play How high is guard. fucking Stancil? Stancil? Like, how do you Stancil get? Stancil was the Doug Flutie of basketball. Yeah, he was. He threw up the shot. Yeah, I did a drop kick court. into the rim. Yeah. <laughs> The Why does Mark Random want to know what Coke etiquette? Okay, I was just thinking that. Go what ahead, the fuck? Uh, all right, so Gino, Mark Random wants to know what his Coke etiquette should be. Okay, should he buy Coke with you, or buy, or should he make himself more known to you uh, about Coke buying? Just talk wait, to me. Wait, he, he's asking. The, this is Mark Random. He, he wants said, to know if you can get him some Coke. Up? He said he should, should I offer to buy Gino Blow, or is that awkward, or should I develop a more long-term connection before asking to do coke? He should yeah. bump into me after a show, which that won't happen, and then we should do cocaine together. That, that, that's what we there should do. There you go. You're going to do cocaine with Mark Random. Why not? I mean, Please, here. Planet. We got to have that as I'm a show. I'm going to with way I worse. I did cocaine on the bonus book. I, I did. I re. I went back and rewatched that, and it was way funnier than when I was there. The oh, it was that, so because you could. I hadn't done coke in a while. I'm like, I'm just gonna. It was literally. I'm like, I'm just gonna do a little bump off my key, and Larry gives me a fucking. It's the entire length of the bit. It was a line. Gave a shot on a glass bit. full it of coke. Was, <laughs> yeah, it was like on. A, it was. It was like on a fucking big bureau pen cap, and I'm like, I'll just ah, and you just don't stop. It's like. It's like well, I was gonna stop halfway through and pass it back, and it was like, yeah, that stuff's yeah. really that stuff's really Moorish. Yeah, it was uh, pretty good stuff, you know. But uh, every now and then, Daddy likes to dabble in a little cocaine. Relaxes me. Relaxes me. I don't think anything <laughs> yeah. wrong with that. Just like alcohol, if you can any with anything, if you can pick it up and put it down, I don't. I have no reason why right. you can't do anything. Like That's heroin, Artie we... does it till his nose caves in. He takes a fucking couple of years off. He comes back. It's gonna be great. Puts the, puts the nose down and picks the heroin back up. It's going to be great. It's What's up with Polly up. Castro? What's that? Paul. <laughs> yeah. I just told I've him to so, shut his fucking gotten, gay mouth. I've gotten so tired of people, and I love Artie, but I've gotten so tired of fans going like, how's Artie? And, and dude, i got to send you a screenshot, Matt. I'll find it. Someone like is, is wrote, how's Artie? Or stance, I'll send it to him. Like, I'm like, look, the alpha dog can't wait up for Artie anymore. After, you know, after a while, he's just got to pack his things and move on. So. <sighs> It's like now, didn't, it, didn't daddy start on his podcast? I remember uh, you started saying it on there and he was not having let me, it. Let me, let me give you some inside info, information about the Ari Lang podcast. If you I ever love that. To- that was my podcast. Like, that yeah. was my favorite show. That's what got me Same. into all this shit. I followed Artie so to Compound. Yeah, but if you listen to the Artie Quitter podcast, ski. when I first started as a sidekick, it was great because Artie was clean. And then as Artie got more and more fucking just. And, and I was the battered wife in that relationship because as Artie got more and more just heavy into the arrow and I kept going back. And he would just shit on, like, he, he would just show up and not want to do anything other than make enough money to fucking buy more heroin. Yeah. So whenever I would put the show up on my back, which the alpha dog did quite often, which daddy often yeah. did, he would daddy. just shit, he'd be like, oh, you're just ruining the show oh. because because he knew one of us was being funny and the other one was just being fucking trying to get through an hour and a half so he could go back to doing heroin. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. At one yeah. Point, but that's what I'm happened with the Kevin gambling. episode. Yeah, one point I'm talking about, and any gambler knows, like, when you're on a hot streak, like you start talking third person, you start saying "Daddy Fat Stacks," "Daddy's winning money," and he goes, <laughs> "Daddy oh. Fat Stacks." He's like, "That is so douche chill." And I'm like, "Really?" Because Daddy doubles down when you th- say that. Yeah. Daddy back down. That's how Daddy do. Daddy don't care. And he was <laughs> he was like literally getting aggravated because he wanted me to be like fucking uh what's his name uh Chris Cotton who didn't realize he was just there because he's black but he's doing really well now he's dead. <laughs> you know Chris Cotton was <laughs> born in, in a peace. toilet. What's that? He was born in a toilet. In or on? In Chris Cottonmouth. <laughs> in toilet water? Oh, yeah, water he was person. born in a toilet. Yeah, he was born in a toilet. Chris, Chris Cotton. Cotton. Is that a Philadelphia <laughs> water birth? Yeah, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they flushed him when he died. He. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Rack <laughs> another one. He's another guy that I would say to him like, "Look, okay. dude, you're only on this." I I I didn't say you're. I'm like, look, you're you're new at this. Artie has you on because you're black and you can get away with jokes, but you're going to do great. And he's like, no. Nah. And he had this attitude, like, I'm here because I'm funny. Another guy that just thought, like, yeah. He's like, I, it was like a Stuttering John moment where Stuttering John, and this is why I never, he always thought, Howard Stern's some struggling DJ that needs brilliant comedic minds to fucking survive on the radio. So he went and fished out Stuttering John and sell the stock Yeah, Stop yeah. Stop it. You're a punchline. Stop right. it. Yeah, exactly. That, those are, those are the, my favorite episodes of Howard's when he's just fucking ripping them. Yeah, that's like yeah. when I go back to listen, that's the only episodes I listen to is like I type in like Howard rips uh, apart and then I'll pick a name. I mean, he's the only one I was right about was stuttering John. I know I was wrong about Joe Exotic. How's he doing with you guys? How's he doing? Fuck How's him. Oh, no, 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 no. I was the asshole. for fucking No, no, no. I was already not a fan of his. What happened uh, whenever you started blocking everybody? 
I blo- I unfollowed him so I wouldn't get blocked, and he fucking had a meltdown with me about it. And now yeah. he's got a uh, he's got a whole agenda after our show. Uh, Matt Mead, you can go into it if you'd like. Uh, he's just attack after attack. Oh, he really it- likes me. Yeah, he, he has his social media. So when we took that from him, he suffocated. He's you a understand? fucking nerd. By the way, I started laughing when you said block everybody because I told did I tell the story? I blocked people, and one of the people I blocked was Kevin Brennan. Oh so yeah, Kevin yeah. Brennan texted me. He goes, "Yo, dude." He te- he sends me a text, and he's like, "Yo, dude, why'd you block me on Twitter?" I'm like, "Sorry, if you're friends with that guy, I gotta block you." <laughs> I said, "Just block him, and and I'll unblock you." He's like, "It's like I'm not an eighth grade girl." I'm not, and then we end up getting into a I mean, like a 20 or 30 text thread. And he's like, just this is, this is like, on in hot water, right? right? And I'm like, you realize we're yeah. talking like people now. We don't need to follow each other. He's like, he's like, you're a faggot. And he just stopped talking to me. <laughs> I'm so mad about it. And it was, just, I'm like, we're talking like normal people. We don't need Twitter. He, well, he, he didn't seem to, he didn't cotton to my idea. He's Not learning a lot cotton. from he's Chad Zumoff. So like. Just cotton as in stick to it. Go Who's with that? So, so wait, what is a uh, what is your what is your boy uh, Joe Exotic do? He does a, he literally does a podcast after this bashing it. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. no. Joe Exotic boys. won't show his face because he's a pussy. Uh, yeah. No, the, the podcast after this is the, I think Gladwell Ape started Gladwell a wrap Ape up. Ninety nine lives. Yeah, but then we uh, they don't even wrap us up anymore. Yeah, well, Wendy's they did a, they did a couple episodes and we thought they were fucking great and funny. We were shouting them out, but then they did a few that were just like, "What the fuck are you doing? Like this isn't even funny." And so we said that, and then ever since then, I guess they they got butthurt and stopped doing a wrap up of us. No, they still they're still doing it now. Dude, yeah, was the last it's time? not a wrap up show. Of and us then anymore. Lenny's printer the does a wrap up doing. of their show. Yeah, but so now Gladwell really Ape is doing a wrap up of Lenny's printer. Oh God! Well, this is I have so no problem. So though. meta. They're they're good yeah. So meta. Yeah, isn't that, what it, isn't that what the kids call it, Paul? It is what the kids it call it. That right, is what the kids call it. One for me. I'm very proud of myself. Paulie like. Oh, yeah, I do like that. Means who hung up? Uh, your brother. I mean, uh, no, came. you fucking idiot, Paul. You fucking ruined Everyone the whole fucking, fucking podcast. You'll ruin his life. <laughs> by saying it's done. Like it's that. done. It's done. He won't what be able to build it. Build it. might have heard that. Oh, my God. Hey, so Polly Castro really wants to call in. Should we give him I a shot? I know he does. Give him, sh- give him a shot. Pull up, Paul. Gino, he we're going to give this guy. Gino, we're give him a shot. But we're gonna don't go, him don't go shot easy title? on this fucking guy. Please. I got to piss. Yeah. I'll be right back. All right. Take a picture of it. I'm, I'm here, guys. I didn't leave you. It's all right. What's what going on? With the, what the fuck is on his wall? Sports? A mob? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, I really am not a big fan of the Ashtons. No, I don't like them good. either. They are, they're, they're, they've always been dry every time I've smoked them. Have you tried uh, La Polina? It's, no. it's, it's, oh, it's I'm, La doing pa- your, I'm doing your boy tonight. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Uh, no, don't say that. Rocky Patel. Yeah, oh, what do you got going one. down? What Rocky, kind? I got a I, I got an RP Platinum tonight. Oh, dude, they're good. I'm th- I'm smoking the. Uh, this is I, I was golfing with Voss and Berg and Kenny Mosca. Somebody's you know, doing well. And he uh, he gave me a cigar. This is the last one, but I ordered some more. I always get them from Holtz. Like, I always get the 15 pack sampler. I'm oh. telling you what I love. Tell you what I'm loving right now. And you said it perfectly, fucking ski mask. They're dry. It's yeah, like they are. It feels drier after I smoke it. Try, hey, try La Polina. Just, just yeah. give it a try for me. It, it, I will, dude. Tell me what you, you think, man. They're so it's fucking Gino's good. Cigar it's cigar corner. What are you smoking these days, Gino? I'll tell you the Go thing ahead. I really like because I, 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 I'm not, you know, I'm not an aficionado. I guess that's a magazine. Uh, so I get the ones that are cheap. I get the, I get the sampler pack, and there's something at Holtz where you get three, f- a five pack of three different cigars for like yep. forty bucks, forty nine bucks. So it's like five yeah, bucks a Holtz. cigar. And it's a, uh, they're called flatheads. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I've flatheads. had flatheads. Those are they're those good. Are Is that the yeah. little short stub ones? Yeah, right. But it's also a brand. It's also it's a brand of cigar. Okay. Yeah. yeah no. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Like gotcha. Uh, it's a uh, it's the a uh, Rocky Patel Maduro little Renaissance. They're fantastic. Yeah, I've had those. I can't break away from the Mia Moors. Those those they're, those have. To oh, be the Mia Moors and the Palencias. I mean, they're, come on. Oh guys. my God, the Palencias. Oh, Ooh. Christ! Why are you pouring a beer into a cup? A yeah, what are you doing? Cup? Yeah, who are you trying to kid there? Who are you chugging? Gene, why am I pouring and a, a kid beer into a, into a? Oh, shrine, it's a mug. Dude. I thought it was a fucking solo cup. I was. Uh-uh. I was God, going full. What am I, up. Cabana King drinking Sailor Jerry's and chasing it with cherry coke? I love Cabana King. Yeah, Cabana King he knows rules. how to drink. He's a fucking man. 
But he you can real well, he doesn't really know how to drink. He no, he doesn't. He knows how to. He's once, not drinking Trulies and or White Claws. I can that tell you that. Take a fucking drink. If you're gonna drink fucking rum, <laughs> then put it in a glass. No, with fucking he's Dr. drinking Pepper. to get drunk. He's gonna take a fucking shot. Okay. Coke and then what, are you, what are you fucking 14? Kid. Put it in a fucking glass with no, ice. And he's it. only got so many hours of the night to drink. So you take a shot, wait about five minutes, do another one. Next thing you no, know, no, you're no, no. He's saying that he's back. chasing it. It's not he's the he's chasing he's it anyway. Jerry's. Just put it he's in a fucking glass. I'm getting he's pissed off. But then, you, but then you got a dirty glass. You got the I plastic bottle and a can. That's all you need. You can throw both of them dirty away. Your you're glass. Done. Yeah. Throw it out. Who gives a fuck? I don't you're know what you're doing. Gay. You drink fucking spike seltzers. He you, can't you can't yeah, pronounce your R's. You can't pronounce your R's. We're talking about booze, faggot. Yeah. Yeah. You can't speak correctly. You need to put marbles in your mouth like the Japanese <laughs> used to do. They don't do that anymore. I don't know, but they sure can't drive. But <laughs> goddamn, they have some great innovations. This one's for yeah. The it's jam. called the flathead camshaft, and I also got me some. Uh, I lost the screen, but they're fucking good. I've been doing. I like the Maduro. I do the. Uh, the Rocky Patel Renaissance Maduro that I love, and I tried this new one. You ever had the, uh, I went with the, uh, uh. and that was Gino's Cigar <laughs> Corner on oh, SMC. Ma Ma Maduro is like all <laughs> I like. So that was worth it just for that. It was really Price worth it for me. that. Uh, I, I went with, a, anyone ever heard of the Kane Maduro? No. I just yeah, like Maduro's well, in general, as long as like we're Maduro's fucking, Maduro's are what's yeah. up. That's you guys ever smoke a honey dutch? Those are pretty oh. good, huh? <laughs> you guys ever smoked a white owl white grape? They're the best. All right. like hey, uh, hey, white grape game blunts. Shout out. Smoked yeah. one last where'd you night. Get you guys that, ever... uh, where'd, you, ski, where'd you get that pizza from? Uh, it was just handed to me. I like yeah, it. What the fuck? Who brought it to you? You want to say the name? <laughs> hey. Was it Praviti Pizza? No. Who brought it to you? Yeah, who brought it to Is you? Is there you a guy whose a initials are C and M there? C no, no, no. No, he's not here. Oh, okay. Chuck no, Mangione. No, 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 but his sister did just bring it. Gino's through. buddy. I did, hey, I made my I love I told I said it he on made the, the show. Piece. He annoyed me because I, I love the kid. He was I saw me the nuts, first though. clip. Yeah, you didn't drink. You didn't see. Did you, you make the shit. piece at the pick at the uh the uh stand up last week? Did you make the piece? Which one? At, oh yeah with Chuck. Oh yeah, we were hanging out, we were having some beverages, we were living okay, the okay. dream. He was very well behaved. And then you Mead, bash that Mead guy. Was the, Mead was the grumpy one and threw a temper tantrum. He was a yeah, real grumpy man. Gus. Yeah. <laughs> I was a real grumpy Gus that night, but I <laughs> saved. I ended. <laughs> All right, cool. Rich and Tunnel Brewery, where is that? Hmm. Yeah, Did his laptop <laughs> died just like Cabana Kings? All right, let's get Polly Castro in here real quick. Gino, well, we'll Carol. Do it Who's Carol Polly Castro? <laughs> Where is he? Oh Polly God. Castro, he where's your video? Now? Give him a chance. If he's on his mom's laptop, I'll fucking die, dude. Just give him a chance. Give him a chance. <laughs> Let's get a quick hook, though, like the Apollo. Oh, look at that. What? Carol! <laughs> they wouldn't... Oh, that's someone else. Carol! We they wouldn't have found it, Carol! Yeah. Where are you? We can't see you yet. There oh, you go. He oh, changed God. his name. What Jesus the fuck? Christ! There he is. I apologize. What's up, Maddie? What's up, bro? What are you, you doing? doing? <laughs> Excellent. Jesus what Christ, you, you, look bad. you look rough, bro. What's going yeah, on? Well, what, how, was it bad cocaine? You're just sniffing up there? What did we miss? Laptop down. Yeah, that's what happened at Cabana King, too. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Polly's here. He's got one chance. Go Polly, ahead. Polly, you said you want redemption. Let's hear it. Maddie, what do you got? Not about what? I'm just, what do you want to talk about? You like, fucking asked to come ah, on. Man. No, you were talking God about. Damn. Like, you say I come Polly in hot Castro. all the time. What is your problem? You've been I, in the chat room. He nailed it. I, I, I think he nailed it. I think, then you're I talking think he about the landing. I, I think then you're talking it. about <laughs> no heroin. Holy shit, shit dude! You've problem. been in the chat room for thirty minutes saying you got you're coming in hot. I you're, said I'm not going to. But then you were mad. You said you were about to like. So you were saying, uh, Paul, where's the link? Then you said, Mead, where's the link? Then you said, Ski Master. That's for question, question, I, question I, for Gino. Polly? Is there, let me guess. Is is there a woman named Clarice walking around your basement right now? What is, what is going on? There? <laughs> I mean, his beard doesn't look like he's wearing like a parka because it's freezing in there to keep the bodies from spoiling. I just got back from walking my dog. <laughs> okay. Okay. Where, where'd you walk him to? Alaska? <laughs> <laughs> you know what he looks like? Oh, uh, fuck. He looks like Jack Nicholson. A young Jack Nicholson. Look no, at Gino him. nailed it. He looks like fucking um, Buffalo Bob. 
Yeah, Buffalo. You ever see little Nicky when they make fun of Buffalo Bob with the no. fucking trannies rubbing his nipples? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, like, like, you ever see? You ever see Silence of the Lambs when it's edited and instead of him saying "I'd fuck me," he says "I'd marry me." Oh, oh it's no! Hilarious. It's hilarious, what is it? right? Is it the just FX there. version, the TV yeah. version? Yeah, it's, it's like uh, the Die Hard when Bruce Willis goes "Yippee ki yay, uh, Mr. Falcon." That's another great <laughs> one. Oh, I think so it's good. Was it Pop? Polly Knoxville, is that what they're saying? Yeah, oh, people say shit. it. Holy no, fuck, you do look like Johnny Knoxville. Polly Clefstro. You look like Johnny Knoxville, so people are calling you Polly Knoxville now. Johnny uh, Knoxville and David. Do you Croft. have any questions for our guest, Gino Bisconti? If you Famous don't, I do. Comedian Gino Bisconti, what do you got, man? Uh, well, G- Gino was actually the first person I met when I was there. I walked up on the deck talking about the one wheel, snowboarding. Uh-huh. And you were, yeah. and you were like, yeah, I snowboard. And I was like, you want to Not try? a question. No, no, no. But I, I, That's I, a statement. I, asked, I said, do you want to try it? And he was like, no fucking way, dude. No fucking way. I, I said I would break my wrist because it's like I'm used to going, you know, sideways, looking over my shoulder. Yeah. You know, and that's you said that's forward, right? <laughs> but it, like you want it's like your instincts you want to lean for, like point your feet forward. But if yeah. you do that, pavement. And I literally said to you, I would get out over my skis. I recall yeah. that vividly, right? And uh-huh. then Bob Levy said, diplomatic immunity revoked, and he punched that fucking cuck in the face. Am I right? <laughs> Not you, <Wally. laughs> Uh Did you watch In Hot Water after it happened? I, I was I was like a five-year-old yeah, yeah. talking about it. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, he did every 80s line in the book, revoked. He, he was doing every, I'll be back. He was doing every 80s line. <laughs> yeah, he definitely uh, stood I'm getting him too up. old for this shit. Boom. It was fucking good. You complete me. Bang. It was fucking great. Yeah, he, he kept uh, picking him up by the shoulders and then saying lines and then punching him back down and then picking him back up. And then hey, he was like, saying it's a like line. an 80s bully, dude. It's like yeah. one of those movies. Like the the all football. right. All right. Check this out. Gino Bisconti. Yes. You haven't been on in a while, but now you are. Look, uh, today's environment's crazy out there. I don't know if you've seen uh, what we have to do to our guests here. We have to vet them a little bit on here just to make sure that uh, everything's all right and, oh, and, and, and important, that we don't run into anything. So important. Paul's going to ask you a couple of questions, all right? This is lightning round. Uh, we need yes or no answers uh, and answer the, nothing but the truth, all right? Show I'm the not floor. nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm you will be dying. If you say but, you will be we gotta be. We got to be careful here on can, here. You can know, I we make never a know what's going to come back. Can I make a suggestion? Go ahead, Gene. Go ahead. I, I feel like, can I make a suggestion? Go and ahead. obviously, Gina Biscotti, first time, long time, big fan of you guys. <laughs> uh, I, I, the pedophile was funny the first time. You have to have new files, audio file, you know, uh, FICA file, stuff like that. You understand? You hold up the big pedophile thing, Paul. It's great, but you need new files. Like, yeah, he watches files. the show. Yeah, he is a big fan. I thought he was <laughs> a huge fan. Fucking Paul worried about his answer. Us. Somebody's worried about this. What do you think I'm listening to? Misery loves football. <laughs> I watched this fucking show. He wrote down all the questions already. This is all right. Stories already boring. Let, let me tell you, I literally, <laughs> I was so, talking. So- I was talking to our boy Dombrowski, and I missed his last two podcasts. I'm like, I'm sorry, I have too many podcasts to catch up with. I'm like, I'm like, Ski Mask is in the mix now. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie to you, I still listen to Misery Loves. God. It's like there's too much to fucking do. There is too much. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and I miss fucking uh, Nightshade like fucking crazy. You know, that's yeah. where I used to get my news. Yeah, yeah. I remember right. when you guest hosted. That was great, dude. You oh, and Landau so filling in for He's him. He's trying to change so the subject, good. Paul. Yeah, I know he is. Yeah, I know what he's yes, doing. Sir. He's diverting all right, Maddie, the question. I'm sorry. Just, all right. I'm just saying FICA file. No, no. I don't want to see you file. looking down. I don't want to see you looking down. Yeah, yeah, we don't. Yeah. There's nothing to look down. I'm not wearing pants. I don't want to look we don't, down. We don't, we don't know that. We, I mean, we don't know you what's going on over there. You want to see it? You want to see it? Pull it out. How big is it? What? All right. Wait, so hold on. Before we start this, Gene, if we were going to do the audio file or the cinephile, what would the questions be? Do you like yeah, music? Make sense. Yeah. What's your favorite band? No Aerosmith? Sense. I guess you're right. I'm just, look, I'm just trying to help. I know you're look, spitballing. I'm, I'm just, yeah, I, I get you. I'm just filling out a comment card. Okay. That's we don't all have a carrot in a booth to do stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we don't have to start a You guys would have to hire right? me for that question. goal. Not to think you're ready to bring on a seventh fucking person to the crew. So really, <laughs> this is, right. let me tell you something. This is two guests away from Let's Get Loud. That's all I'm fucking saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, most of you should have closed with that. You should have fucking closed with that. You should have. All, all right. right. You ready, Gene? Of course I am, gentlemen. All right, hold on. Quiet on the set, please. Quiet on the set, please. Everybody be quiet. Um, Gino, are you you excited for the MTV Cribs reboot? 
I no, no, I'm not. No, I'm that's, not. But I'll make sure when I watch it, I have my windows down so people don't hear me chanting out fabulous <laughs> words about their residence that has two G's in the middle. Gotcha. Perfect. All right, you pass that on. How much do you enjoy pizza? Uh, Daddy loves pizza. Sometimes I'll order uh, ten thousand dollars worth of pizza to the White House. I'm, I'm Lionel Rich. <laughs> I play this game all night long. When's the last oh time you God. cashed in tickets at an arcade? Ooh. Never. Not once ever. Never? You got a hell of a gambler. Well, Never I was a terrible had... loser when I when I was younger at arcades, and now I don't I don't go to them. Well, now okay. you still are with Gino's picks, right? Yeah. Ever since I bought that ice cream truck, I don't have to go to arcades. <laughs> Holly gets it. The kids come to me for the, for me to fuck. All right, next. <laughs> All right, next question. Speaking of that, have you ever fucked a kid? I've never <laughs> fucked. I've never fucked a child under 18, but I've never fucked a woman over 35. Oh, actually, Ooh, Stacey Prosper. That's a She's great age. <laughs> might be the only one I fucked over 35, honest to God. All right, he already passed. They start uh, to sour after that. For shits and gigs. Gene, you ever been to Thailand? No. All right, he fucking nailed it, dude. Yeah, uh, I'd love to go to Thailand, I but I've never been. Gino. I wasn't worried about Gino. I, think I, wasn't, I, I, I we wasn't worried about Gino. I didn't you know, even have Coxman. it at the ready, but Ski fucking made me who, who bust out of the draw. Of, of all the guests, who do you think did the worst with the pedo file? Who Maddie, did the Paul worst? Castro, he's in the room. Polly right Castro, now. he's the only one that failed. No, he's no, the no. the only no, one Danny, to fail. Danny, Danny actually huh. went to Thailand. Oh, oh yeah, Danny Polishuk. Danny Polishuk was was pretty brutal. I but love he it. Didn't, yeah, I could say that, but he would brag about it. He would own it. Danny he Ray, Ray DeVito. Ray DeVito thought a little bit too long on his answers, so because he's <laughs> retarded, and I don't mean that in a colloquial way. I mean he's retarded. Amazing. Oh my God, so good. Holy I shit! Just because you have a different view on my answers, you don't agree with them. That's why, I think. dude. One of the answers no. was, "Have you bought booze for someone 18?" And you were like, "Absolutely." Oh, uh, hold on, you guys when are in for a college. treat. You're in for a treat, gentlemen. Hey, buddy, I'm doing the Ski Mask Collective podcast right now. What are you doing? Uh, how's that going? Oh, it's <laughs> fucking fantastic. Should I tell you're on speaker, or should I just let you say what you're about to say? Well, it doesn't matter. Did they collect enough ski masks? <laughs> no, but they're all wearing headbands. It's so wacky, except for this guy, Paulie, who's smoking a cigarette like an absolute French faggot. He's holding it inverted. But that's it, buddy. Uh, did you, what's the latest on Garrett? Well, I was going to tell you, so you can call me later. All right, I'll call you. All right, I'll call you back. I'll, what's that? to get the ski mask. Okay. All right, buddy. Ray DeVito's, uh, I'm doing the Ray DeVito podcast. I'm kidding. All right, buddy, I'll talk to you in a little bit. <laughs> I was actually uh, on a serious note. On a serious note, and I know you can't divulge too much. I don't want to. I'm not trying to get you. In, but is Garrett okay, or do we? Know I texted Garrett? Garrett before the show because I wanted to give an update. Uh, and uh, I love fucking Berg. He's he tried. To, uh, Garrett literally said, "I said, hey buddy, just checking in," uh, and he sent me a thumbs up. He said, "Still at the hospital, so probably this was right before we came on. So probably out tomorrow. Feel good though." And I put gave us a, a scare, big fella. Uh, did they tell you what it was? God forbid, I hope nothing serious. I hope it was bad weed. We talked about it on the show today. What happened? That fucking guy, Stephen Lewis, was giving out weed. And he said, they don't know oh, yet. Shit. Hopefully, no MRI will tell. So maybe Berg does have an update. Interesting. What were you going to say, Stevie Lou? Did you say Steve Lou? Stevie Lou, the guy that sells the drugs at the fucking studio. Oh. Yeah. He's been on our show a couple times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's a great allegedly, dude. Allegedly, allegedly. He's a great I, dude. Allegedly. I, I, but I'm telling you, he... He gave Berg. Did you ever hear the story? Berg was golfing with his father-in-law, and he like yes, died. Yes. In the, he literally smoked. He's like, "You have any weed?" He goes, "Hey, he gives him some of his weed." And they get to the next hole, and he's passed out. Like, like I mean, <laughs> Berg having a fit, throwing water on him. I think it was on the fifteenth hole. I'm sure it was because Berg said, "I'm just going to give myself two pars and a birdie for the card." But he literally <laughs> yeah. fucking was throwing water on his face. Uh, he thought he was dead. Yeah, but that's just real good weed. That'll do that to me, or it would do that to me. Back no, that happened day. to me with Kate. No, Jr. that's a done. great point. Is Stevie Lou trying to kill? Uh, like Is he selling spice? Does Stevie Lou want his own time slot? Find out now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the oh, Lou crew? Awesome. T's and P's to Garrett. We yeah, love yeah, Everybody yeah. loves Garrett. Huh? Shout out Garrett. Yeah, Garrett's uh, the fucking best. Steve so, Conkey's. I mean, we are so... To, if I may be a, an actual guest and plug it, we're so lucky to do that podcast in hot water with me and Berg. And I always say the four of us. It's like when LaDainian Tomlinson broke the record for most touchdowns in a season, which still fucking stands. When he did that, 
and they're interviewing him after the game. He said without missing a beat, he's like, what we did today, people are going to talk about it. He didn't say what I did because he couldn't have done it without the offensive line. And if yep. you watch the show, there are times I literally, I think it was last week, I looked at Berger, I'm like, well, this is a Garrett and Steve episode because we're just sitting there at the desk laughing. Yeah. You know I mean, fucking Steve doing the Joe Biden lately. Are you insane? Oh, my God. It's so good. fucking, and Garrett yeah. just has one liners that are so good. I can't fucking stand Dude. it. You know, we the need to get Garrett on it. two dragons, asshole. Everything he said. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Dude, it's I, legendary. Dude, Gino, I called into that fucking show. Oh, the, I brought two great? dragons, asshole. I remember oh. that from years ago. That was a year and a half, two years you know, ago. The episode, happened. he was doing Randy in the morning, and it's like, you know, he makes ridiculous runs, bring a, bring a dragon, get a flag or something. And then they showed a cartoon picture of a woman driving away in a red wagon with a dragon <laughs> in the wagon with her, and they're driving away. I wonder if it was a rhyming thing. <laughs> And, and he goes, there's a happy customer. I'm like, wait, why did she take the wagon with her? And before anyone could say anything, fucking Garrett without me, she she brought two dragons, asshole. <laughs> it was fucking, let me explain the joke. Dragons don't exist, but this bitch had two of them. Do you understand? So many levels to it, people. So many levels. He rules. We just had he Steve is. on. He's the fucking man. Oh, yeah. You know, Steve Conti was Scott, great. Uh, Tomlinson, that record, uh, what was, it, was it like 41 touchdowns that season or something? 31. 31. 31. Okay. 31. And the, the, the thing I love telling about that is they were so, – I, I love them, the church. always will, But, it, like, they had – that was back when fullbacks were a thing. And Lorenzo Neal yeah. was the fullback. And he blocked yep. for LaDainian Tomlinson, Eddie George, and another really good running Sports back. Sports Math Collective. Mike Allstott. Mike Allstott was one of the best. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Johnson, but, but fucking – Keith Evans, best fullback ever. He tied – fucking Tomlinson ties the record against Denver, 30 touchdowns, and there's, like, two minutes left, so they're just going to – the game's over, and Denver fumbles at their own, like, 10. So they go back out on the field with a minute left to break the record, and fuck it. It's Mass Collective, Thursdays at 7. There you go. <laughs> this ain't hot football. And, and the thing is, uh, fucking Lorenzo Neal said earlier that year, he's like, I never got to see a LaDainian T Tomlinson touchdown because I was always with my head down blocking for him. And so he's so they're in the huddle. He's like, how do you want to do this? He's like, same way we did it all year. Uh, you know, off tackle, left, off block for you. You, you waltz in. Right on the snap, Lorenzo Neal falls. He falls down on his face. LT, you can see he looks at him, and because it, it's just wide open. He just trots into the end zone laughing. And after the game, Lorenzo Neal goes, that's the only touchdown of his I saw all season. <laughs> he was lying on his ass, but it just – they were such a fun team. I'm excited about it. Was, I, was I like, remember oh. watching that game. Dude, that I was, had uh, a powder yeah. blue LT jersey as a uh, Patriots cause, fan. Because you were raised right, Paulie. Oh, I, I have Antonio a powder blue – Gates when he was I got young. Antonio Gates signed helmet. Fucking, I got drunk at the Friars uh, one time. But Who, who look, was the cross-eyed fucking cunt? What was his name? He played for the... Oh, R Rashid oh. Caldwell. Remember Rashid him? Caldwell? I thought you were yeah. going to say... I, I was going back a generation and saying uh, he was blind in one eye. It was a Wesley Walker. Played for the Jets. He was blind in one eye. No, Rashid did a... I think... Did he win a Super Bowl with us? Or he might have just played us in the, the drought He year. died recently, you know. I know he did. I saw See, that. Because he, he played for you guys after us. Mm -hmm. No wonder you know, Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, how you feel about fucking Brady on fucking Tampa Bay? I want to kill myself. I wish yeah, him all the best, but Cam yes. Newton. Can, all right. I'm going to interrupt you one sec, Paul. You Go answered ahead. my question, and I'm paying you a compliment. Because you're not like, I hope he does. He's great. You, he's it amazing. kills you that he's gone, but you wish him the best, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, when LT went to the Jets, it broke my heart, and it was business. I was livid, but it wasn't like, fuck you. You know what I mean? It was like, look, and, and I'll tell you something I heard today. I don't know if you know this. Over the calendar year, you might want to mute your fucking sound, Paulie. Over the past calendar year, the Dolphins have a better record than your than your fucking Patriots. No, no, I'll stop. That's how <laughs> bad right, they, you you. Was that Brady left. They don't scare anyone. Hey, I, so we said this before the show, and I don't know how long we're going from this, but I'm sorry to say this, but full black quarterbacks, can, they don't work in the NFL. No. Pat, Pat Mahomes won a Super Bowl. Right. Russell Wilson, 60% black, won a Super Bowl. Yeah. Cam Newton. He's not going to win a fucking Super Bowl. No. He's no. ruining my no, franchise. He's terrible right now. Didn't terrible. Did you Keep see the show the today? I, Because I, I, I thought of it when you said black quarterbacks. I pussied out. On, even I, and you know me, I'm a bad boy. I'm a, I, I didn't want to tweet this because I just didn't feel like getting the flack, but it was brilliant. Somebody tweeted, if you could have sex with any professional pro athlete, living or dead, who would it be? And I wanted to tweet Colin Kaepernick, comma, Bruce dead. Jenner. But I didn't. <laughs> That would have been a great fucking tweet. Why not? If uh, Colin Kaepernick I, I won, do. he would have he would have followed the formula. He's not full black. Yeah. Paul, I got such a piece of shit for you though. As a no, he sucks. DJ. But what, Paulie? What do you got? No, no, no. I think my take on it is that Brady went to Tampa to prove that 
he's, you know, he's, he's getting it done because he's a better player and he's not. You're, you're already, you're wrong, but you're already right because they think Belichick, Belichick didn't even offer him a contract. They didn't no, even offer didn't him have a, a choice. slap in the face contract. So and they think it's because Belichick wants to prove that he can yeah, win right. without Brady. That's that's the theory behind it. Yeah, yeah. he's offered like no that. contract. But that's the, that's one theory, and and we'll never know the truth. Maybe I don't exactly. think we'll ever know what really happened. Paul, but but you look at what's going on, and and that was a big off season talk. It's like who's going to win this divorce? Who's going to do better? And obviously it's Brady. But it's like it's almost like now you're like I, you. It, it would fucking justify or or corroborate the story that Brady left because it's like this team stinks. Yeah, the, the Patriots stink right we now. Suck. They suck. Can you name one weapon? Stories are already bullshit. You have no weapon on offense. You have none. You have none. Our number one receiver is Damian Bird. Has anybody ever ever heard of him? No. Anybody in the Bears? No. Yeah, that's our number one receiver. Jesus. Keneal Harry. Is that how you say his name? Nikhil Harry, and he's done. He got fucking. He got a helmet to the chin. (laughs) He's He's out. I see what you you good did. That's fucking good. Great. It's the only time I ever got knocked out. Wow, this is real eight plus. Might remember that. I did love it. Sorry, Sports Mass Collective on Thursdays. You can see it on Thursdays on the Ski Mask Network. Other, we have a, a whole other show. A yeah, this will. There's yeah, a this, whole this, other this, this show. Thanks for the invite on your show, you gay bitches. <laughs> There's this, a this whole. We'll be talking about how uh, Stancil threw up on a pile of my shit at the uh, Jets versus fucking Vikings <laughs> game. I uh, pissed on it. I didn't. I actually did. Actually, Gino, that's a that ties in in hot water. Wait, did, you did what? So Mead hit Mead took a big shit under a tractor trailer while we were pre-gaming for a Jets Dolphins game years ago. My man. And then and then we all pissed on his shit and we're just laughing hysterically. Yeah, that that, that sounds like And then you guys stole clip. our bit. You stole our bit. That'll be a clip on in hot water tomorrow, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm you sure pissed, we had we stand up on, on today shit. and he said it. Like people were giving a shit. He's like, gay porn's hilarious. So that was all that Berg needed. <laughs> it was oh, beautiful. A fucking <laughs> well, free. as soon I as this show off at the end. I had to as, soon as, this, as soon as this show is over, I am will be smoking weed and watching in hot water as I always do. Nice. And let me let me say this before plug. I forget. Oh my God, thank you guys so much because you guys do so much to to promote in hot water on this show. And and do not think we take it for granted. I mean, we give you a lot of love. We mention of your course. show all the time. Yeah, you're the only ones. But you guys give us like, and it's and you talk about it in a way like like you're fun. Like people watch your show and be like, "Why aren't we watching in on water?" These guys seem to think it's great. Then they probably watch and be like, "This is just dudes blowing each other." What, what are we watching this? <laughs> it's now, been egregious. Are- it has been egregious lately. I do have to say, like, and I, I have I, nothing to do with it. I'm the one guy, and people are always tweeting me, "Gene, stop showing gay porn." I'm the one. I don't have any buttons behind the desk. No. I have no. I'm the only no, one. No, you have the Skype button right there. Oh, that is true. I'm, see, I lied to you. Caught me, Paul. You caught me. I never thought. <laughs> Uh, I never thought seeing crackhead pussy would be a nice respite from the fucking <laughs> <laughs> the funniest one. Berg and and we had a, a Berg like and I do like the show works so great because we all fucking we all have a unique set of skill and I'm just there steering the insane ship and I see it like like I'm like a running back I see the hole that's about to and fucking Berg when he does a joke that dies like he gets so fucking you know he's like ah oh, this is terrible like, it's actually gonna be great you just don't get it you know what I mean. But he'll say shit that's so funny he doesn't even like he did the crack cookie boy. He's like, who likes to do so much crack that they think they can fly and fight wolverines? Are you out of your mind? That's like the funniest line ever. Fight wolverines. I, I lost it. I lost it. It was so good. T O T motherfucking O. What you know about that? The did Cowboys. you guys see? Hey, speaking. Of, hey, Cowboys fan, did you see your boy Dez signed a few hours ago? Signed with the fucking Ravens on their practice squad. What? Des Bryant signed. Oh, he signed with the Ravens. I thought that was supposed to happen last year. It was, and it didn't, and now it did. He's 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 no good anymore. He doesn't know how to yeah. run a route. He's like he's like T.O. T.O. is one of the greatest physically gifted receivers. Feel free to interrupt me if you want, but we all agree, greatest physical receiver of his time. And he would just out, he would outmaneuver and muscle people. And that's what Des Bryant was, but he never learned how to run a route. Now he can't fucking beat anyone. He knows he how to run, run his a mouth. Route. He's gonna stink, right? Yeah, he stinks. He knows how to run his mouth, though. <laughs> this guy gets it. Oof. All right, uh, Oof. check it out. <laughs> Oof. Check it out. Uh, we're gonna do, do a little new something here. Uh, got any recommendations out there, uh, fellas? Some places you've been. So you got some good service, maybe some bad service lately. I like to. St- I like to give some uh, some places shout outs. You know what I mean? Oh, you got? Would you have one in mind, Ski? 
Uh, no, I was going to let you go first and see, and see if you wanted to start us off because I know you were fired Let's up. Let's go around the horn. Recommendations Woo! or, or <laughs> places to stay away from. Okay, I, like I've never – I don't ride <laughs> – oh, God. All right, so I tried to get a bike fixed last week. A bicycle? Yes, a bike sickle. Uh, and uh, so I – Stancil knows this. Well, this wasn't last week. It was, it was a couple months ago. But uh, so I, all I wanted – was to get a new tire put on an old wheel from a fucking old bike that I had. Yeah. And all the place that's closest to me. Obviously, COVID has convoluted the whole process of getting anything done. Yeah. So I said, uh, yeah, how much to uh, replace a, a wheel on an old Schwinn? He goes, the, the person answers the phone goes, uh, I don't know. Let, hold on. Let me, I, let me talk to the manager. Puts me on the phone with the manager. I said, uh, yeah, I'm trying to replace a Schwinn bike uh, uh, wheel. And uh, can you give me like a time uh, like a time frame maybe and a price? He goes, well, I don't know. Uh, you'll have to bring it by. Do you want money or don't you want money? <laughs> you're, first of all, you're in a time of crisis. You obviously have some kind of issues with your business in, in, at least. I mean, there can't be like a run on bicycles right now. Yeah. Although I do see a lot of people wanting to get hit by cars. And I, I think they really need to they rethink do. the laws about assaulting cyclists because that needs to be a new thing. I forget about the COVID, forget about lifting bands. I want to be able to hit a cyclist with my fucking car and Bash get away. Bash going. Yeah, I was on a road the other day. There was a the the road was bumpy as fuck because they were doing construction and some assholes riding a bicycle down that. Now, does he still have the right of way in that situation? I have nowhere yes, to go. Technically, yes. But, no, uh, I, how is he riding a bike on it? It's those rocks and everything, gravel and shit. No, I can't uh, get it. Where? But back to the know. point is that do you want business or not? There's a real fucking problem with people these days that don't have any Name business ethics. They don't want it. They don't like they're asking. They're acting like they're doing you a favor for for trying to give you the service that they started. Yeah. And, and that's it's not just with the fucking bike thing. It's like restaurants. It's fucking t tons of businesses that don't act like they actually want your money. And that's a big fucking problem. I'm sorry. R rant over. I, I got fucking pissed at that. Like, yeah. You don't, I'm the one handing you money to change a fucking bike tire and you don't even want the money. Like, just what do you want? Why do you have the fucking close your doors? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Name them. Name them. Name names. Dave cycle. Dave cycle. Stay away from that place. <laughs> Dave cycle. Or just be a man and don't ride a bicycle. Ah! Yeah, drive it was a, for a bit. Drive was a, a Chevy fucking... Sonic instead, mate. Come on. It was the last time I saw a guy on a bike, a bike sickle, I'm done, a bicycle, he was shoving the seat up his ass for ratings. But nice. I mean, actually, I guess you could actually ride one, uh, but I think it's got to be a goof. Am I right? No one really does that, do they? I hope not. I Brandon rides a bike. Not. Brandon rides a bike. All right, I'm signing off. <laughs> I'm out there. Uh, anybody on a bicycle I want to kill, and I feel bad just because Brennan is one with his gay helmet and he rides his bicycle. From I don't understand that. He loves no, riding the bike. Why does? Didn't he get a ticket one time for riding a yes. bicycle? Yeah, he yes. recorded it. It was hilarious. He, it was a, sp a Hispanic female officer, and he was like, "What? Ah, what am I getting a ticket for? What, what do you mean? Why the cars drive a lot faster than I'm Listen, going? I got no problem with bikes. I was a bike." Boy, hashtag bike boys. Did you have and, big uh, pegs on your bike? I did have pegs. And yeah, it was a bike boy. I'm when not I even was kidding. Fucking my bike ten. was stolen. I had a sick fucking dyno. We're talking that about the it. fags that wear tights and shit. We're talking you're about oh, around. any tires. You, you should be the open season on anybody wearing spandex. Yeah, it right is. I throw yes. my sandwiches out the window. I don't care if I have half of it left. It goes right at them every time. If you're wearing a one piece on a bike. You should, you yourself. should have full authority to run him off. If you're off, wearing off a way. helmet, you should be murdered, period. Can <laughs> we all agree on that? No, Boy, come on, helmets Dino's save lives. Well, okay, well, so I didn't I do anything. Not yet. <laughs> What, what was the original question? What were we going around a horn? Oh my God. All right. You okay. got a, you got a place of business you like, you want to shout out or, or one you don't like, you want to fucking give a little roasting to go ahead. This is your chance to do it. Recommendations corner. Let's go. This isn't going Maddie, well. Who do you fucking hate? And wherever you live in Connecticut, yeah. have you had a, a bad business. experience lately? <laughs> is yeah. this some kind of yeah, some, some kind of consumer? <laughs> I'm sorry, Paulie. No, I talked to. I'm just curious. Is this some kind of consumer corner? What are we doing here? It's a new uh, bitch. You know, we're just trying to give it a break. Uh, hey, hey. You ever no, think I, of just showing gay porn instead? People seem to love it. Anyway, go on, Paulie. I'm sorry, buddy. I have Can a different background, so I'm saying it. You know. What? What? Well, anyway, oh, no, pressing cleaners. What about them? The cleaning company. 
<laughs> yeah, I smell like the dry cleaners that are best. They're the they best are the in the best. business, are they? Huh? Like, how long does it take if I take uh, if I take a whole outfit there? How long will yeah. it take them to press What's, it? Well, what kind of outfit? What are we talking? Like about? any of these guys I use a fucking too. dry cleaner, Paulie. Why don't you just tell us a good place to go for a yacht <laughs> repair after oh, this? Man. There you go. That's better. That's better. We're gonna get thrown off of YouTube. See, this works. This oh, works. We're done. Oh no. Oh, We're getting thrown off YouTube. What the ah. fuck? <laughs> Now I feel it all. What the fuck, Polly? Why would you wear a fitted hat? I don't get that. That's distracting. You're fucking making that big gay porn money, and you got to fucking get one of those fucking strap back hats. What a faggot, faggot. And now I know why Berg does that. It's so on, funny to put gay porn up in the middle of a fucking. No, it's porn. hilarious, but you got to remember we're on public YouTube. You oh, I know he had sorry. socks on. You know he had socks on. Like, you know, Yo, like, exotic, you know please don't report leader. us with your ten accounts. I'll lie. You Crescent Cleaners, fucking... I will shout out Crescent Cleaners. They do a great job on my dry cleaning. No, oh, where are they low? Me epilepsy right now. Jesus yeah, Stancil, what oh, do sorry, you sorry. mean? Stancil, <laughs> what do you wear? Where, where do you go that you have to wear something that's been dry cleaned? I wear floral <laughs> shirts on the show normally. Where do you think they go? You, you can't you cut those? off floral shirts. You One think of I them put was... them in the washer like a rubby dub? I send them to a nice dry word. cleaner. I'm nice not a word. fucking piece. I live in Connecticut. I'm not a fucking piece of shit. You don't put collared no, shirts in a fucking washer. Yeah, well, you first of all, you don't bring them in. Pieces of fucking shit. You know, one of these floral shirts was his mom's Scum. moo moo that he cut the sleeves off of is that true <laughs> that's is that true that's true and actually crescent cleaners did <laughs> clean and press that <laughs> that's a fact. everything you see me wear crescent cleaners cleans besides this shirt this will go in the wash Wuhan. anyway all right we're wrapping next? it up we're done we can't, <laughs> the, the gay porn threw me off for a loop i'm gonna go fucking uh, think to myself all right we'll, <laughs> hey, but we are back tomorrow uh 7 p.m what do we got? Some no name. Probably like seven fifteen. What do we yeah, got? Yeah, yeah. It's Ralph Anthony. Uh, do you know this guy, Gino? No. Have you ever heard of him? No, no. And you think I'd know one of them? He has two first names. I've yeah, never right? fucking heard of the guy. I don't know who he is, but we'll have him on. Fuck is it. Is he a right? comedian? Yeah, he's a comic. Uh, from New York. You know, you got to get Eli Leibovitz. That guy's a fucking treasure. Oh, dude, that, Gino, that was the only guy Steve Conti would trash. We were like, who's the worst compound guest? He's like, I don't know. I don't want to. You know what? This fucking Ellie guy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck he went yeah. right in on that one. <laughs> oh, people loved it. When I just put my feet up and put my back to him, fucking Steve was like, oh, good. What a cop. Even Bird that was great. That was a good one. That was a good one. Gino, we all know compound media in hot water. You want to plug any, you got any, any got stuff any coming up? You want to, uh, no, an opener? I'm on, I'm on uh, misery loves football apparently next week. And, uh, just, Oh, Oh, you want a uh, little, little, uh, little exclusive. Uh, I go on, uh, I have my meeting to, to start doing cameo tomorrow. Uh oh, I mean, I don't know what it, I, I know what it is. I don't know. Wait, what do you mean? Meeting? Who are you meeting with? Uh, the guy that uh, 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 it really is, Mr. Cammy. I, I bumped I into a guy in LA. Say that I Mr. bumped into a guy in LA, and he and we've been talking. He's like, "Yeah, I want to get some." And then out of the blue, I get a text from him today. Like, sorry, I missed your call. I've been really busy. I'll call you later. I'll give you my undivided attention. He's like, "Hey, do you like cameo?" Because he said my agent knows the owner. Just came out of the blue, and you know, I talked about this on the show two weeks ago, uh, probably a month now. But my ex out of the blue tweet texted me because we do talk. I mean, we do for all the joking around. They do. She's like, why aren't you on Cameo? You would do great on that. And then out of the blue, a month later, some guy's like, literally, look, I'll read you the text. It's right here. The guy says to me, uh, blah, 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 more gay porn. No, that's a to do list. Um, uh, here it is. It, he literally said. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh. If you want to get on Cameo, Perfect. let me know. The owner is my agent. That's what he texted me. I mean, that's insane. I'm like, I'd love to. He's like, all right, send me your stuff. I got an 11 o'clock meeting with him tomorrow. Nice. For you. I what's mean, I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know. What should I charge when I go on camera? I was just like going to say, what's the uh, rate? I would do 15 bucks. See, here's the thing. Uh, you you only get to keep like 75% of it, which is no big deal. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. No, I think I think you go, eh, I guess. But see, here's the thing. 30 to 50. Well, let me, and I'm asking 50 is you way guys. Too much. If, if I do, if I'm doing 10 to 15, what am I doing? I don't want 10 or $15 from any of you guys, right? I think people will nope. pay. Uh, pay, people will pay upwards of thirty to have you. But but I see, I would want twenty bucks. I would want to do a hundred bucks, and here's why. And I'm not saying I'm worth a hundred bucks, but it's literally, it's literally that fucking, you know, that high. Like if I charge a high price, then I won't have to do as many. Yeah, but if you do it, 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 if you do it, put some fucking effort into it. I can't stand seeing uh, some of these will. guys that fucking. Oh yeah, dude, I love uh, fucking talking to people. But so even I, I, I would like to think I will. But you're right. 
you know, people get used to it. And then they're like, oh, shout out like the Bam Margera ones and shit like that. It's like, come on. Who the fuck is paying this hey, guy? For this? Happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Is uh, uh, he's like he's like flipping through his papers to remember the name of the person he's doing it for. It's Bam like, Margera dude. turned into a triangle. Hey, is he really in body? He look, just looks like a triangle. No, yeah, and this is coming film. from a trapezoid. So really, <laughs> <he's> <laughs> <Damn> strong. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Now we can wrap it up. There we go. Right. We we'll close on that. Jesus. All right. Uh, yes. Check it out. I'll be, I was Gino. I'll see you November. Uh, we're going to have a good time. What and, are we doing uh, in November? Uh, we are going to do in hot water. <laughs> oh, okay. You're doing our show. That's right. That's right. All right. Good. Yeah, good. yeah that's yeah. it. Now I'll bring up some of uh, La Polina cigars. If I can find some in this area. You're coming into the studio, right? Yeah. Fucking a good, good. Yeah. Wow, you want if to we're allowed that? there, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't uh, know. are we on a list? I feel like we yeah, are we on a list. I can't believe that Eagles wing has a love handle. All right, <laughs> Gino. I one last question for Gina. Oh God, you're in charge of your shirt. Yes. Okay, that calendar in the background is that Junior Seau? No, that's an old. If it was Junior Seau, there'd be. I, a why didn't know. I didn't want to get yeah. all be a hole in his chest. Brain would be on player. display. Yeah. That's Joey Bosa, and the people above uh, him are my dead fucking mother, father, and uncle. How funny is that? <laughs> oh, I thought that out. was the mob. Yeah, it's great stuff at a dance in fucking in in at a dance in South Jersey in the 60s, 50s, probably. Yeah. Check it out. This video is going on Patreon only. So if you didn't catch it live, fuck you. Donate uh, audio free, and it's going to be like that until further notice. Just because I mean that's the environment we're in now, right? Yeah. Fuck Suck yeah. our dicks. Blow me. Welcome to the welcome to 2020. Yeah. In words. Give us two dollars a month to see us. <laughs> two fucking dollars. Do it. Uh, it's two bucks. It? I'm sorry. Who's the older comic? I should really subscribe to your <laughs> Patreon, guys. I really. Oh, is it? Yeah. Two give, bucks us, a month? No, no. give us two dollars. It's two bucks. It's two bucks a month. I'll subscribe. Two bucks. And well, it's like two months to hit. I will. I, I have, I, look, I'm being honest with you. I haven't subscribed to it, but I will. I will. Yeah, we know you're going you're to. Good because good I'll do it 